Welcome to an Exosploit tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to recover or locate your Windows product keys. Your Windows product key is very useful to have in case you ever need to re-image your computer so you will be able to install Windows again. The first place you can look for your Windows product key is on a Certificate of Authenticity sticker if you bought your computer manufactured from a major retailer like Asus or Dell. This sticker verifies that the computer came with an authentic copy of Windows, and that sticker has a product key printed on it. If you have a Windows 7 era PC, there's a good chance the product key is a single registration key the manufacturer uses for all their PCs. Thanks to this system lock pre-installation, you're not allowed to use that key to install Windows. If you try, you'll get error messages about the key being invalid. The sticker could be under your battery if you have a laptop, but usually it is on the bottom. And if you have a desktop, it could be on the top, side, back or bottom. If you have a custom built PC, the sticker might be applied to your case. If not, it could be on your Windows installation disk if you receive that. You'll need that product key to reinstall Windows, and if the computer manufacturer used a system lock pre-installation, then that key is going to be different from the one your PC came with in its software. If you don't have your Certificate of Authenticity sticker, you're not out of luck. Here's a nice little Visual Basic script you can run. I've copied it into the description below. Simply paste it in Notepad, and then save as all file types, and name it whatever you'd like, and make sure to end that with a .bbs extension. Now execute this file and it'll pop up with your machine's registration key. If, however, you have a newer machine, sometimes the keys are stored in your computer's BIOS and not inside the operating system itself. This is great because if you want to reinstall, you won't have to enter your key. As long as you install the same version of your OS, it'll auto enter your key. If you would like to make a copy of this key just in case, and your key is stored in the BIOS, you can recover the key using a PowerShell command. Open your PowerShell and paste this line in and run it. I've included the line in the description below. If your key is stored in the BIOS, you will get a line returned with your registration key. My key, however, is not stored in the BIOS, so I got a blank line. And now finally, what if your computer cannot boot and your key is not stored in the BIOS and you don't have a Certificate of Authenticity sticker? Well, there's a handy little free program called ProtoKey. You can search for it and download it from Nearsoft's website. Once you download it, extract ProtoKey.exe from your zip file. On this Windows 10 machine, I have the hard drive of a Windows 7 machine hooked up and it's loaded up as local disk app. I'm going to run produkey.exe as an administrator and it will show me my current system's Windows 10 registration key. If I want to find the Windows 7 key on the attached hard drive, I go to File, Select Sources, and then choose the fourth option down. Load the product key from an external software registry hive. You may be able to choose load key from external Windows directory and navigate to that, but it wasn't working for me. So then you'll just browse to your connected drives Windows, System32, Config, Software file, and click OK. Instantly it should pick up and display your other machine's Windows registration key. If you have any questions or comments about this process, just leave them below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please help the channel grow by giving it a like and subscribe for more videos.